Lords of the Fallen, like many dark fantasy action RPGs before it, limits you to only a handful of healing items between rests. Called Sanguinarix, the game starts you out with only three. But fear not, you can increase the amount of charges and the item's effectiveness through hidden items called saintly quintessences. This is only possible after defeating the first major boss, Pieta, she of Blessed Renewal. Once you overcome her, you'll be able to upgrade when speaking to her within Skyrest Bridge. As Lords of the Fallen features a sprawling, labyrinthine world to explore, you may be worried you've missed a quintessence or two. If that's the case, we've got you covered to make sure you find them all. The first of two saintly quintessences found in the fiery village of Kalrath comes not long after you reach the vestige of Lydia the Numb Witch, just before the Kalrath slums. If you're not certain if you've made your way there yet, this is well after you fight the infernal enchantress sub-boss. Navigate the slums until you come out to an area with a regular infernal enchantress enemy hanging out near a massive bonfire. Luckily, she's much quicker to best than her sub-boss sister. However, she has the same deadly moveset. Behind her, a set of planks leads up to a tower with a fire blocking the entrance. Shift to the Umbral Realm to pass through without harm. At the top of this tower filled with fiery undead and umbral monsters alike, there's a bloated corpse to soul flay. Within, you'll find the saintly quintessence. We opted to rush the bloated corpse and loot the quintessence before we were overwhelmed with constantly spawning foes. Return to Pieta and Skyrest Bridge to upgrade your Sanguinarix to plus 65% HP recovery if you have two on hand. Unfortunately, this time around she doesn't give you an extra charge. We hope this video helped you track down a valuable saintly quintessence. Be sure to check our previous Saintly Quintessence video to make sure you didn't miss the one that came before. And if you want to ensure you don't miss the next one, make sure to subscribe to Prima Games for our continued coverage on Lords of the Fallen.